Is it worth including this magnetic pocket screwdriver tool as part of your everyday carry? We're going to be going through the highs and lows and helping you come to a conclusion. Let's start with the lows. This thing rattles. So when it is in your pocket, you may hear the bits rattling around in the storage in this driver. Next, the driver bits themselves are not a standard size. So the standard size for a hex bit is a quarter inch. This is a little bit smaller. So if you have any quarter inch bits, they will not be compatible with this. You will only be able to use bits of the exact same size. The next low is that it needs more bit diversity, okay? When we open this up, you're going to see that there's only Phillips and flatheads in different sizes. That's it for the lows, now on to the highs. This is a very lightweight and comfortable screwdriver to use with one-handed operation. Additionally, you have this handy pocket clip just here, and I usually keep that tucked into my everyday carry pouch. And most importantly, it has an inbuilt storage chamber for all eight of your included bits. Now, mine did come with a ninth bit. I somehow hit the lottery, but that will not be typical, okay? So let's have a quick look at some of the different bits here. All right, so you will receive four Phillips and four flatheads. All right, so as you can see with those three flatheads on the left, they are all different sizes. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a demo by taking the smallest flathead, and I'll just remove my glasses just to show you that they can be used to repair glasses. See how loose that glasses arm is, guys? We're gonna tighten that up right now. There we go, much better. So going back to the question, is it worth keeping this as part of your everyday carry kit? I'd love to hear your thoughts, but I know that for me, it does have a spot in my everyday carry pouch. Now for all my loyal viewers and subscribers, you guys are legends and I hope you like the video. I've left a link to the item for you below and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.